Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to create a calculator in Java. If you've been following along with this course, you'll know that in the beginning of the course, we created a calculator that was extremely basic. So essentially, you would just enter in two numbers, and then the program would take those numbers, add them together, and display the result on the screen. In this tutorial, we're gonna create a more advanced calculator. So this calculator will be able to add numbers, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. And you'll be able to tell the program which one you want to do. So over here in our Java file, I've just set up this scanner, and it's just scanner keyboard input. So the name is keyboard input, and it's just set equal to new scanner system.in. And I also imported the Java scanner up here in the first line of my file. And you basically are just going to want to have a scanner and we can use this scanner in order to get input from the user. And for our calculator to work, we're actually going to need three pieces of information from the user. We're going to need the first number, we're going to need the operator, and we're going to need the second number. So the first number will just be that first number and then we need like a plus sign, a minus sign, division sign, a multiplication sign, and then we need that second number. So. I'm gonna go ahead and write some code to get that information from the user. So we can say system.out.print, and I'm just gonna print out a prompt. So I'm gonna say, enter a number. And what I wanna do now is I wanna store the number that they entered inside of a variable. So I can create a double variable, I'm just gonna call it num1, and we're gonna set that equal to whatever the user entered. So that's just gonna be keyboard input dot next double. So it's basically just gonna grab the, whatever they input, convert it into a double and store it in num1. The next thing we wanna do is get the operator. So I actually wanna grab like a plus sign, a minus sign, or a division sign, multiplication sign. So we're gonna have the user enter in one of those signs. So I can say enter an operator and I'm actually gonna, instead of creating a double, we're just gonna store that as a string and we're just gonna call it OP. And we're gonna set OP equal to keyboard input and we're just gonna say dot next. And basically what dot next will do is it'll just grab whatever the user enters, um, but it won't grab anything after a space. So if the user entered like a plus sign, a space, and then a minus sign, it's only gonna grab that plus sign. So next is probably our best bet here. Uh, if we want to grab just like whatever they entered. And then finally, we want to grab that second number. So I'm just going to copy that code from up there and we can just say enter another number and we'll just call this one num2. So with this code that we've written over here, we're now able to get the first number, the operator, and we can get the second number. So. The question becomes, after we get all this information, how do we actually perform the mathematical operation that the user wanted? The key really lies in this OP variable. So the key lies in the operator. Like if they entered a plus, we wanna add the numbers. If they entered a minus sign, we wanna subtract the numbers. So how can we figure out what they entered? Well, in order to do that, we can use an if statement. So an if statement is gonna allow us to check a bunch of different conditions and if one of those conditions is true, then we can add them or we can subtract them or whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can create this if statement. I'm just gonna say if, and inside of here, I wanna check to see if that operator is a plus sign. So we can basically say if op dot equals, and there's this special equals method that we can use on strings, and it'll basically allow us to compare two strings. So I wanna see if, OP if the operator that they passed in is equal to a plus sign. And if it is equal to a plus sign, then I'm just gonna print out that onto this. I'm just gonna print out the result of adding the numbers onto the screen. So I'll just say num1 plus num2, right? So if the operator is equal to the plus sign, we know we need to add them. So I'm just gonna add them and we'll move on. We also wanna add in an else. So I'm gonna say else if, else if op dot equals a minus sign. So if it's not equal to a plus sign, we'll come down here and we'll check to see if it's equal to a minus sign. And if it is, we'll just subtract the two numbers. And I can just do the same for multiplication and division. So we'll make two more else ifs. And here we'll use division, and then we'll divide the numbers. 
and here we'll use multiplication and we will multiply the numbers. And then finally, if none of those conditions is true, we'll just print out a statement basically saying like, hey, you didn't enter in a correct operator. So we can just say, invalid operator. So let me walk you guys through this one more time. We're saying if the operator that they gave to us is equal to a plus sign, then we're basically just going to print out the addition. If it's equal to a minus sign, we'll print out the subtraction and then the same for division and multiplication. Otherwise, if it's not equal to plus minus divide or multiply, then we know they put an invalid operator in there. So we're just going to yell at them. So Let's go ahead and see if our program works. I'm just gonna run the program and over here you'll see it says enter a number. So I'm gonna enter three, enter an operator. Let's enter a plus sign and I'm gonna enter a seven. So when I click enter, that whole if statement should run and we should hopefully get 10, which we do. So there we go, we got the correct answer. And I'm gonna run this again and we'll try something else. So let's try division. I'm gonna try to divide 10 and we'll use division and we'll try to divide it by six. And so you can see we got the correct answer, which is 1.6. So let's try one more and we'll do multiplication. Let's multiply 7,000 times five and we get 35,000. So we now have a fully functional calculator. You can you know, basically do the four basic types of arithmetic inside of here and it actually works. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.